Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're going to test out another brand new prototype mousetrap. Now I'm convinced some of the smartest people in the world watch my YouTube channel because my YouTube viewers are always inventing new clever ways of catching mice. And here's the latest example. It's known as the environmental mousetrap and it claims to be the world's only vacuum based mousetrap. It was inspired by an article out of the UK titled Decompression Killing of Laboratory Rodents, a Humane Alternative to Carbon Dioxide. I'll put a link to that article down below. In the text, it talks about a method for killing laboratory mice and rats in a way that many consider to be much more humane. And that is you introduce the animal to an environment where they experience hypoxia. That is where their body tissue is slowly depleted of oxygen and the mouse simply falls asleep and never wakes up. Now after reading that article, the inventor wanted to make a prototype trap that used this principle, the world's most humane mouse trap, free of pain and panic. When the mouse goes inside the container, it will close, seal off the oxygen, but he hasn't had that part worked out yet. This is simply a mechanical working model, but he didn't want to kill the mice. He even included an air hole in the back here so the mouse can still breathe. Inside the bottle, there'll be a sensor. This will turn blue when we plug it in. When the mouse enters through the hole, crosses the sensor, this plunger will close, making an airtight seal. First, we have to plug it in, then we can set it up. To set it, you pull back the plunger and give it a slight twist. And a blue light comes on. Ooh, it has to be set just right. There. Now the mouse will enter right here, go inside the bottle, cross the sensor, and it closes. It seems like the mechanics work well, but will it catch mice? We're first gonna test it out with our pet mice, see if they go in there, cross the sensor. They're completely safe, they can breathe. Then we're gonna set it up in the barn with motion cameras and try to catch a wild mouse in the vacuum mouse trap. Okay, mouse, go on inside. Luckily the spring's not very strong. It did catch its tail, but the sensor worked well. Now the mouse will go in there and the airtight seal, but this one's okay. We're gonna put him back in his cage, then we're gonna test it out with the wild mice. Uh, always pooping. Let's go set up the motion cameras. Well, last night we caught a mouse in our prototype trap. It didn't take long for the mouse to smell the bait inside the bottle. It entered, hit that sensor, and the plunger closed. Now, luckily for the mouse, the spring's not very powerful because its tail got caught. That would be a huge problem if we were trying to make an airtight seal. A way to fix that is to put the sensor at the very end of the bottle. But we were just testing out the mechanisms, not trying to make an airtight seal, so this mouse is still alive. But what we caught is a non-native invasive species called a house mouse. Because it's not part of the natural ecosystem, I can't set it free in the wild. Instead, I'm going to humanely dispatch it and feed it to wild animals. So let's go set up the motion cameras and see what comes along and enjoys a mouse snack. Well, that raccoon at the beaver dam enjoyed the mouse we caught with his prototype trap. 
but is still in the very early stages and needs a lot of work to make it a functional vacuum trap. The mechanism for catching the mouse is pretty sound, but it does need some improvements, moving the sensor farther back so we don't catch the mouse's tail and the plunger is a big one. Also, this seal needs to be airtight, so maybe adding magnets when it closes, it will lock into place. That might be a good idea. If you have a recommendation on how to make this a better trap, leave a comment down below. Now I do want to be clear, we're not just trying to catch the mouse inside the container and have it rebreathing its breath until it dies of CO2. Instead, it needs a vacuum to suck out the oxygen. That's what the inventor is working on. He said he did some trials and when he tried glass, the glass broke. When he has plastic, it sucks in and it doesn't quite work. So he's still working on making a functional vacuum trap and I can't wait to see what he comes up with. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please consider clicking that button. I've posted over 700 videos on YouTube and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday and Friday. So if you want to see the best videos on how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.